hello there guys welcome back to the channel today in this video i will guide you through the process of effortlessly embedding a revit model in power bi i will introduce you to a new visual that allows you to link bim models to data and visualize them right inside power bi all achieved with just few clicks no coding no api expertise and no data modeling is necessary before we dive in into this exciting journey don't forget to smash the subscribe button. This way you'll stay updated with amazing business intelligence and data science projects. Now, grab a cup of coffee, sit back and watch. For embedding a BIM model or a Revit model inside Power BI, we're going to use a platform called VCAD that produce customized visuals to embed BIM models inside Power BI. So I'll leave you a link in the description, but this is the landing page of the platform. So let's just have a look here. So as you can see in the solutions, there is Power BI integration. If we click on that, you can see the kind of dashboards there. And if you notice here, there are available two versions, one VCAD standalone and one that can integrate VCAD with ACC or Autodesk Construction Cloud. We'll leave this for now and we'll check the standalone. Let's click on try it now just to see the options there. If we go down, you can see the difference between the two options. We have the Open Viewer and the Autodesk Forge Viewer. We'll work with the Open Viewer. You can see it accept IFC models. It doesn't take Revit, Naviswork, or any other type of models. So we need first to convert them to IFC. We'll see how to do this in Revit later on. And you can see the model interactions all available except for the tooltip, which is good enough for this tutorial. And finally, the IoT monitoring. It's not available for this viewer. So now let's see how we can activate this. Let's go to my account course if you're not registered you need to register first you click on choose a membership level and you need to know here this is not a free platform so we're going to test it using the trial sign me up for, for a 10 days free trial you need to fill the information here to start your trial once you do that you just submit and confirm Next step, we need to prepare the IFC model to use it in VCAD and then link it to Power BI. So here we are inside Revit. We are using this project. It's a template Revit project. Let's first go to the 3D view. Click on the house icon here. So this is the project, the 3D model. If you notice here, we have links. Those all buildings are coming from links or linked to this project. They're not part of the project. If you click on it on them, you can find this all one external link, but our project is only this. So let's unload the extra links and keep only the actual building. We can also remove any other categories we don't want from the view here, the 3D view. We can click on visibility and from the first tab, the model categories, you can uncheck whatever you want to hide from this view. But for our case, we'll go, we're going to keep everything as is. We're just going to go to rivet links and unload all the links and just click OK. So this leaves us with the actual building or the actual projects we want to link to Power BI. So now we're ready. The next step is simply to export this. And to do this, you go to File, click on Export. And here you find the IFC. Click on IFC. Here you can change the setup if needed, but for our case, we'll keep the setup as is. And you're going to select the location where you want 
to export this model and finally click on export and that's it we have dive c model ready now let's go back to vcad and upload the model Now we go back to VCAD platform. You click on VCAD here on the top. This opens for you. You have to upload the model, the IFC model. You navigate to the model and you upload it. You just give it a label or a name. Let's name it project one, for example. And let's actually put the center of geometry in the center of the model and click upload. That's it, the model is uploaded. You can notice here in the corner that we used one of one slots. That means we consumed our plan or the trial plan. So you can only upload one model. So after the model is processed online, you can see the blue icon has gone. That means the model is ready and you can start using it. Now the, the nice thing about this platform that once you upload the IFC model or the BIM model, it automatically creates templates, poor PI templates for you. So there is nothing extra you need to do, no extra coding. All you need to do from actions here, you'll find download templates option. Just click on it and you'll find the different available templates. We we'll look at all of them and see how we can navigate this. Just click here to download. And here you, you see the Power BI template has been downloaded. You can just click on it. You can see that Power BI file is opening for you and it will establish the links automatically, including the API access, all the model tables, will be automatically loaded as you can see here here we go the model is being loaded for you and even it has pre-made slicers and you can see the model showing inside Power BI you don't need to take care of any API access it will be automatically ready for you you can see here we have a table showing the list of elements or components available in this model and we see here we have the attributes for the different elements let's see how we can navigate this view you can see here the viewer it will allow you to zoom to select it you can select specific element in the model for example it will zoom in it will filter the data on the left here you can see the name of the element and all the attributes or the properties of this element you have two options here you can hide not selected that will only keep the selected element showing and hide all the others or you can use the x-ray mode it will convert the entire model to x-ray except the selected element you can see here you have option to sync from data to viewer that means if you select anything from the data here it will filter the viewer for you so you can see here showing one that one element is selected if you want to hide everything not selected just click on this option here it will only keep the selected element and also we have another option to enable sync from viewer to data and that means if you select anything from the model it will filter the data for you or the other visuals for example if we select this one you can see one element is selected and and the data is filtered too if you want to reset the filter anytime you just click on reset selection here here if you're zoomed out you want to bring the model back you can click on reset zoom you have here different option multi selection allows you to select more than one element for example if you click on it you select this element this element and the data will respond let's reset 
we have here single select and we have also here the filters so you can hide by type so if you select a certain type this it will hide anything with the same type you can see 227 elements have been hidden let's reset here and you can hide by click or disable hide we'll keep it as disable hide you can here clip the view if you click on it you can select the axis you want to clip and you can see it will clip the view for you let's reset so these are the different options to navigate this view for the assets and this is a template that is ready for you so you can start to add extra data and link it to the available data here and build your own Power BI dashboard let's now have a look on the other available templates in VCAD let's go back we have here spaces let's download this template so this template has the floors and the different spaces available or the rooms and you can see here the space names it's the same idea it loads the space data from the IFC model and you can navigate and filter as needed this is nice if you want to do some deep analysis on the spaces available in your project let's check the other available templates let's look at the next template here we have assets and spaces with colors let's download this and see how it looks like as you can see this template comes with two tabs one for assets and one for spaces or rooms if you look here you can see that there's a color associated with each of the asset types and the instances but in the view you don't see the colors assigned to the individual assets you can switch from here per asset external if you switch to this you can see now you can see the colors are adapted based on the assigned colors here and also you can look at the asset types and the colors will be associated and also for the spaces if we look at the spaces tab we can see the same idea here you can do it either by floor you can see now the colors are associated as per the coloring here and we can do also by space name and the same idea applies so this template will be nice for analyzing the spaces or the assets have it color coded with some legends now let's look at the final template so here we have details it seems like it has more data let's have a look and see what we have in this template let's just download it so this template is prepared with some metrics and some visuals that count the number of assets per type number of assets per floor and of course it's associated with different filters based on what's available in our model and here you can see based on the attributes of, of, the, of the spaces you can see the values and here per the asset name you can do a search per the asset name and here we have a pie chart showing the asset types and of course everything is interactive so as you can see we have looked at the four different templates they're a very good start to build data and analysis on top of them the nice thing about those templates no need for coding or anything everything is done for you on vcat platform you just download the template and you start working on it you maybe associate other tables with the existing tables the data extracted from the model you can see here the relationships are already established for you you don't need to worry about it too so if you have new data you want to analyze on top of the BIM model you can add it here and start your analysis will be a great start for your project 
just to give you a taste of what can be done with a BIM model or a Revit model inside Power BI, VCAD has prepared some samples or case studies. So if you open here, you can see that they have different project samples. This one for quantities, occupancy, for the reporting, even clash detection here, maintenance schedules, and IoT integration. Here we have room analysis. You can open any of those reports for BI dashboard there. Here we have the room analysis. You can see the different rooms inside the model. Here even you can see a 2D floor view for the three floors and the analysis in the BIM model with the different spaces and areas. Here we can see a, an IoT project. There are temperature sensors inside this project and it reports over time. So you can integrate the data coming from the IoT devices with the BIM model locations and see the CO2, the humidity, the temperature. This will be a nice application for IoT project. This case study shows a simple 4D simulation. Let's switch the color as per the status or date. And you can see things as per the date interval, what's being built. And you can track the status from this dashboard. Let's close this. Let's look at the clash detection. So this case study tracks the clashes. You can see here, based on the gr grouped by people, we were tracking those clashes. And you can see spheres inside the BIM model showing the different clashes, which you can filter the dashboard to see those clashes and their status. We have here a maintenance schedule case study. Let's switch the colors to maintenance. And we can see here the different levels and what's the status of the maintenance. And if we switch to X-ray mode, we can see everything is colored based on the status. We have here the different diffusers. And if you hover over any of them, you can see the status and some of the information. The maintenance date you can see here. So this is a nice case study too. So as you can see, there are many use cases for embedding a BIM model inside Power BI. And VCAD have done a great job to get you started with less coding and less efforts. Of course, it's not free, but it's, it's really worth it if you have a specific case study that you want to analyze inside Power BI and track the status over time. If you found the insights shared today valuable, go ahead, hit the like button, leave your thoughts in a comment, and if you're new here, subscribe to this channel. We'd love to have you on board. So guys, stay tuned for the next video where we will be pushing the boundaries and explore new possibilities. Peace.